What's going on, everybody? It's Joseph Loera here with Jack's Fun Guy Farm. Got a little video for you, a little update about what's going on. I have been busy these past few days looking for the substrate, trying to figure out what I'm going to be using. And, um, well, I found the straw I'm going to use. I found it already cut to length and um, clean. Uh, it's $8 for two and a half cubic yards, not too bad. Um, paying a little bit more, but um, it's already clean, like I said, and it's already cut in the length, so I don't have to do anything except hydrate it so then cook it. Um, have not found my oak wood chips. I did find my hardwood fuel pellets. Um, I got this, though. This is what I really made the video for. I'm excited about this. Went down to the bed and picked up 50 pounds of spent brewer's grain from a local brewery called um, Bold City Brewery. Shout out to Bold City Brewery for, oh, for that, Russell. Yeah, that. that is. Um, I was told it is mostly barley, but it also has wheat, um, corn, and, um, I don't remember something else. Mostly barley, though. I am hoping that this will replace my sawdust, maybe. What I'm going to do with it right now is I'm going to take it and I'm going to spread it out. Oh, there's a board. I'm going to spread it out and let it dry all the way until it's completely dry. Then I'm going to weigh it. Then I'm going to hydrate the film capacity and weigh it again so I can figure out moisture content and all that. I'm also going to take what I got here. So it's already pretty good. I'm going to have to mash it through a strainer or something, but I'm going to mash the liquid out of it. Um, I'm going to hydrate it some and mash the liquid out and make some plates with it and put different things on it and see how and measure the growth rate so I can decide um, how nutritious it is and how well stuff is going to grow on it. I'm thinking maybe I can replace the sawdust with this. When I get some colonized grain, I will um, start experimenting. We're still waiting on our grain to colonize right now. We can't really do anything until then. Uh, I might sterilize some of this and inoculate it with some liquid culture and with a wedge just for fun. Maybe something amazing will happen. Uh, maybe not. We'll find out. Um, yeah, we're just trying to save money, and to keep stuff local is pretty much the goal. Oh, and ideally increase the yield, of course. Um, if we can't find our, uh, soy pellet hole, or our cotton seed hole, we're going to end up using straw and brewer's mix, and we'd like to also supplement in oak wood chips, assuming I'm able to find them. So we're going to try running, we're going to run some, by, some bags that are only straw and uh, using wild bird seed, mostly red millet, as our uh, grain spawn. So some bags that we know for a fact how they're going to turn out are going to be straw and um, red millet grain spawn. We know how that's going to work already. We are also going to try some where we have mixed our red millet with um, some of the spent brewers where we let that colonize and then mix that with our straw. Maybe 20% to 50% we'll test and see how that grows, see if we can get larger yields. Ideally, we would like to not have to use soy hull pellet because we cannot get it local. We're in North Florida. There's no soy farms around here. We cannot get the soy hull pellet local. Um, 
You can't really get the corn, uh, the cotton seed hull local either. Um, so we are going to probably be using straw always for everything and that, until we're able to get a good connection to get um, soybean hull so we can do the master mix. But until then, we're going to be running straw with brewers, spit brewers grain, which is uh, barley, wheat, and corn. Um, we plan on getting oak chips. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty basic. Straw, spit brewers grain, uh, wood chips. Maybe sawdust. We don't know yet. Um, Definitely, definitely are implementing the Smith Brewers brain. I haven't seen too many people that are doing it right now. I've seen people use it as compost. I've seen my boy Brian with What in the Fungus, who is using it in his supplement substrate. I'm not sure exactly if he was replacing anything or just adding it. We plan on uh, doing either or. If we can add it to get higher yields, we'll do that. If we can supplement it and get the same yields, we'll do that. Uh, um, or if we can uh, add it and get higher yields, we'll do that. Or if we can just replace something and get the same yield, we'll do that. Ideally, we can replace on us with this and get higher yields. That's what I'm hoping. I haven't been able to find wood chips that are just oak. I found wood chips that are mixed in cypress, oak, and pine. So I'm having to contact tree service companies to uh, find it. Um, we're going to be building our pasteurizer soon. We also plan on building a sterilizer similar to the Bumba sterilizer that I believe Eric Myers with Myers Mushrooms designed. Um, I'll make sure to put the videos up when we do that, definitely, we'll let you guys know how it's done. We're going to do it nice and simple, we're going to use the uh, 240 watt fold back, um, I can't remember what they're called, the uh, anode or diode, whatever it is, for the uh, water heaters, it'll basically boil our water and mix steam for us, and we're going to be using the 55 gallon drums, we're going to get at least three of them, two pasteurizers and one sterilizer. Maybe we'll get four, I don't know. They're not expensive to build. The, uh, all the stuff all together should be somewhere near $80, no more than $100 uh, per barrel. So $300 for a few pasteurizers and a sterilizer equally somewhere around. I think after they have the water in them and all of that, they're only going to have like 35 gallons of space left available. But that's still a lot more than we have now. Right now we have three 23 port pressos. We have to either run off of propane or off of the stove. Um, so this will be an upgrade from that. And our pasteurization has been the uh, old classic shroomery uh, bucket pack. And we just made it in our straw or our cocoa core or whatever we're using and submerge it in boiled water. I uh, have insulated coolers I use so it holds the temperature longer, but it's worked fine. Uh, of course, once we expand what we're doing now, we're going to um, expand in every way, so we're not going to be doing bucket tech anymore. We're going to do actual true pasteurizing it and uh, all that. Inside of those 55 gallon drums. But yeah, it's fit brewer's brain. It's like a uh, all mushy feeling. And it's really light. I imagine when it's dry, it's going to be really light and not weigh anything. I uh, see how this is somewhat the consistency of sawdust. A little bit mushy. Really light and airy. They can pack together. Uh, seems like it might be very breathable. So you get it to the right field capacity. And um, I think it'll facilitate growth extremely well. Really looking forward to it. I'm going to be doing some uh, transfers this evening. 
maybe some inoculations. Either way, I'm going to post another video. It'll go up late tonight or tomorrow sometime. Um, anyway, it's going to get wrapped up here. This is Joseph Loera with Jack's Fun Guy Farm here in Jacksonville, Florida. We're growing gourmet mushrooms, a little bit of medicinal. We got oysters, shiitake, corn set, uh, maitake, uh, shaggy mane, lion's mane, stuff like that. Working on getting some more. Uh, working on getting cinnamon taps and chestnut oyster right now. Uh, we will be selling liquid inoculant, or we are currently selling liquid inoculant. Um, and uh, we will, in the future, be selling spawn bags as well, or spawn blocks, whatever you want to call them. So uh, you will be able to get your liquid inoculum, your spawn blocks, and also your gourmet mushrooms here. One stop shop. Uh, we'll probably even sell the pre mix of bar. I've been making a bar for a little over a year now, and I've never had any problems with it. My consistency is great. Uh, people who purchase my bar always tell me how much they love it. Um, so I imagine we'll sell some plates, clean plates, true corn, um, or just a dry mix, already mixed with the LME, and you just want to add water and boil it, sterilize it, pour it, whatever. Um, we can do custom nutrient blends. Anyways, I don't want to make a sales pitch. Uh, like, subscribe, share, comment, please. Uh, peace.